Kanawha County Commission has awarded millions of dollars to several local organizations using American Rescue Plan funds. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas is at the County Commission building to tell us how this money will help the Kanawha Valley. Larissa. The county has already spent $5 million of the $17 million it received in its first half of American Rescue Plan funds. And this money will go towards everything from flu shots, mental health, to helping teams get more uniforms and providing more meals for seniors. Known for its medical services for low-income and uninsured Charleston residents, West Virginia Health right now has a new hire charged with expanding its mental health services. You know, my role and my goal is to be able to meet the needs of the community where we're at. Brittany Ross is the center's first doctor-level psychologist, and she'll be providing mental health screenings at the new Westside Clinic and also taking a boots-on-the-ground approach, meeting people in Montgomery, Marmay, and St. Albans. Seen a lot more people who maybe were doing well and able to cope. All of a sudden, you take away things like church or organized activities or things that maybe we used to cope prior. And take a, you know, a lot of people have lost their jobs and access to resources. And people are struggling right now mentally and emotionally. Her position was made possible thanks to a $150,000 grant from the Kanawha County Commission. Other big recipients of ARP funds are the Kanawha Valley Senior Services Center, which received $236,000 to provide hot meals to an additional 300 seniors. $100,000 was also awarded to the Charleston Health Department to help with flu vaccinations this season. Part of the money that we were awarded from federal government we were able to use to make up for lost revenue to make sure that we have continuity of government. But others that we're using for, for instance, the team program to get uh, younger citizens vaccinated, those between the ages of 12 and 24, I'm gonna make sure we get them vaccinated. We've reserved 1.5 million for that. On Thursday, teams like the University of Charleston women's soccer team and Capitol High School marching band received checks for having more than 90% of their team vaccinated. And you know, any businesses that are in unincorporated areas that have suffered loss, they can apply as well. We awarded $108,000 for businesses as well. And people are free to walk in during clinic hours at West Virginia Health, right, to seek these new expanded mental health services. The application for ARP funding is online. Funds are awarded on a rolling basis. Reporting in Charleston, Larissa Casillas, 13 News, working for you.